हेलो एवरीबॉडी टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू मेक अ आईओ बोर्ड फॉर दिस ईएसपी 12 ई इट्स अ चिप वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग चिप एंड इट्स हैविंग वाईफाई कैपेबिलिटीज एंड इट इज आल्सो हैविंग अ 32 बिट माइक्रो कंट्रोलर विद इन इट एंड वी कैन प्रोग्राम दैट माइक्रो कंट्रोलर इवन विद आर्डिनो आईडीई सो इट्स वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टू यूज to work with this chip so i'm going to make a uh, io board for this chip and uh, this chip is having the headers very near and not standard headers and it is having 2 mm distance and in general uh, we are having a 2.54 mm breadboard pin distance so i'm going to make this board and i'm going to place this esp12e chip over there and uh, thereafter i'll put some header pin this type of header pin and an spi header uh, because this uh, esp12e also providing the facility for spi header and i'm going to use these two moment re switch one for reset and another one for flash some resistance for pull up or pull down the pin and some diodes some led and a diode and this is a, a voltage regulator and it is 3.3 volt regulator because this chip works on 3.3 volt and for connecting these all things i have developed this small pcb and uh, i have designed this pcb circuit in eagle and thereafter i have taken this print out and by using tone transfer method i have made this pcb and uh, here i'm going to show you the eagle schematic and the pcb design here it is the schematic what i have developed in eagle uh, for my uh, esp12e io board and uh, you can see i have used a 3.3 volt voltage regulator over there and uh, Uh, i have also placed the jumper uh, to choose the power source from if we are giving the power uh, from the battery then this uh, 3.3 volt voltage regulator convert into 3.3 volt and uh, we can put the jumper in between these two and we can get the power supply from the fdti also so if we connect over there 3.3 volt fdti then we can choose the jumper over there so my device will be getting the power supply from fdti and i have also placed the icsp header since uh, sp12e uh, board and chip is also providing the pins of spi header so i have placed the icsp header also and i have used these two switches this one is for the reset and this another one is to flash to upload the new firmware in the uh, esp12e and i have placed some pull up and pull down resistance as per the data sheet of esp12e and i have extended the pin uh available in esp12e both the side and further i have placed some other header pin uh, nearby these uh, io pins and uh, that are the positive rail and the negative rails and uh, it will provide the easy access of positive and negative power supply nearby the io pins so this is the schematic and thereafter 
here it is the PCB design and you can see uh, this is ICSP header and this is FTTI header pins over there and this is the jumper to choose the power supply and this is the connector to connect the battery and we can choose the power supply from FTTI and as well as we can choose the power supply from the battery source also and these are the IO header pins and nearby that IO header pin I've placed the positive rail and negative rails uh, to get the easy access of positive and negative pins with the IO pins so here it is my PCB design Here it is my ESP12V IO board is ready and uh, I have soldered all the component as I have designed and uh, you can see here I have placed a jumper and by using this pin we can select the power source where uh, we are getting the power from we can use the battery to power up this board because we have placed a 3.3 volt voltage regulator over there and we can also choose the power source is FTTI and uh, here I'm going to power up using the battery you can see I'll place the jumper over there and uh, just I'll connect my battery and we have to check the polarity first and then here it is you can see the board is powered up and uh, this voltage regulator is regulating the power and it is providing 3.3 volt and uh, we can power up our project with this FDTI also to power up with FDTI we have to make sure that the power uh, jumper of this FDTI is on 3.3 volt because it is also having the option it can provide the 5 volt as well as it can provide the 3.3 volt so we have to make it sure that it is providing 3.3 volt output and to use this FTTI as a power source we have to change the jumper and we have to select the power source is FTTI so now I'm going to connect this FTTI with my project to power up I have connected my ESP12E uh, IO board with this FTTI and I'm going to power up uh, this board using FTTI by placing the USB cable in my computer here it is powered up and now I'm going to give the 80 commands to my ESP12E board to check how it is working and then later on I'll uh, upload the firmware a new firmware to this board here I've connected uh, my board with the FTTI and uh, now I have opened the Arduino ID and uh, I'm going to use the serial monitor to give the IT command to my ESP 12E board so uh, it, uh, my ESP 12E is connected with the Comet serial port and uh, I'm using the serial monitor now and uh, first I'll give a simple AT command so it's giving ok everything is ok now uh, we can test some other commands also like uh, to check the firmware version we can give a command AT plus GMR and it will provide the firmware version and I have not changed its firmware still and uh, it's giving the factory supplied firmware and it is giving version 0 0.23 and uh, it is providing date also 
uh, it, it was uploaded on uh, 24th April 15th and we can try some other commands like uh, we can set the mode of this uh, Wi-Fi module and uh, to set the mode and to check the mode we can give the command 80 plus CW mode and we can give the question mark so it will provide the present mode present mode is 3 here it is you can see it is 3 and it is having uh, three different modes first if it is uh, give it it is one over there then it it is uh, in a client mode if two then it is in server mode if it is in it is three then it shows that it is uh, it is in dual mode that is uh, access point and client mode so it is three so it is in the mode of uh, access point as well as client now we can check check the available access points uh, nearby uh, this Wi-Fi module it accessing to check the access point we can give command AT plus CW LAP LAP represents the list of access points so if we give this command then here it is some error is there I'll try once again control C control B and uh, I think question mark will not be there uh, here it is we are not to put the question mark over there and uh, here it is you can see an access point brainstorm.abc is there and it is my own um, broadband uh, internet modem ADSL modem and uh, it is receiving the signal from that and if I want to uh, join with this access point then we can give the command 80 plus CW JAP JAP is for join access point and then thereafter we have to give the SSID and uh, can say network name and in my case it is uh, brain s t o r m strom dot a b c and we then there is a comma and again we have to give the password in my case it is one two three four five six seven eight and now we can press the enter and you can see here it is telling us uh, that wi-fi is connected earlier it was connected so first it has disconnected then again it has connected so uh, it is connected with the Wi-Fi network and uh, now we can see the IP address what it has got so we can give command 80 plus CI FSR and uh, we can give in small also but 80 plus CI FSR and here you can see uh, the IP addresses over there this particular uh, module Wi-Fi module uh, ESP12E this got the uh, 192.168.1.3 IP address and in this way we can give AT command to our uh, ESP12E and a uh, list of command is also easily available on the internet we can download and we can try some other uh, 